Okay, quick follow-up video to our JVA swing trade idea. Now, again, I'll be the first to admit this is a very, very thin stock for me to be calling, and I've emphasized to our members several times that I would not try to day trade this thing. It's too, I mean, it's an $8 stock that at times has dime spreads. Now, I'm comfortable with the swing trade idea. I was hoping to add today um, in the 820 area. Let's go to 15s to kind of show you why. All right, um, back on January 4th, this had a kind of a nice day long base here. So um, if you don't see today's pop here, this was trailing down and I was looking to add in this area. Um, as I've said in the previous video, so I won't go into it in too much detail now, I have three tenths, if you will, 30% of the full position that I wanted. Um, and as I told our members today, I might, I just might not get it. I might have to. I don't want to add on the way up. I don't want to average up on this thing. Um, so what might happen is I might just have, if it does give a short squeeze like I think it might, it'll just have to do it with me having one third of what I had hoped to get. I'm okay with that. You know, it, it's uh, so I'm, I'll make money on a smaller position than I wanted. And if it doesn't work, then I'm not adding higher because I'm not comfortable doing that on a stock um, as thin as this one. But uh, acting well okay um one thing i like about it is it had this pop yesterday i'm sorry yesterday uh let's see this is monday friday this had this pop on thursday we started adding uh building a position on friday um and then it closed red so what i like about it is and this is something we teach our members even on intraday candles okay even if these were five minute candles these are daily candles though uh, what happened is sellers came in right here on friday okay these sellers have already basically, not completely, but they've basically failed because it took out Friday's high today briefly. Um, and I'll show you why I think that happened in a minute. But we, we always look to see where sellers come in and if the sellers fail, you've got more potential upside. Again, this isn't much of a day trader, but I'm still very comfortable with the swing call that we made in it. Got an 881 average on my calls. And at one point today, uh, went up to 925. Um, this has explosive potential, as I talked about before. Three million shares in the float. One million are short. Um, and so this thing can really take off at times. The reason I think it popped today, um, Green Mountain Coffee. And let me look at that. Nice, nice trade, to, or not, not trade, nice candle today. Nice volume. Um, let's take today's candle out of it. And uh, if you looked on message boards and everywhere else, everybody and their mother was short Green Mountain Coffee. I mean, it seemed like uh, this base break here, which uh, I didn't draw that line very well, but I think it took out the base low at one point on Friday. I could be wrong. Um, so it looked like a, basically a slam dunk to at least 40. Um, oftentimes in the market, when something looks like a slam dunk, you might want to reconsider. Um, and so what happens today, look at the intraday candles, Green Mountain just really looks like that uh, short's going to play out, all right? Everyone is thinking it's going to 40 here, and then you get uh, a little bounce. Next thing you know, another bounce, and then all of a sudden, Green Mountain just takes off. So everyone who shorted that obvious short, right, is in trouble now, um, and this could continue tomorrow, and I think that's what happened with uh, JVA, basically um, coffee stocks, right? And uh, Green Mountain is one of, uh, I think, is JVA's biggest customer, so... Um, I wasn't surprised when Green Mountain did that to see JVA, let's go back to an intraday, to see JVA pop as well. Um, looks really good here. If you're following along, again, we've got an 881 average, uh, and I'm hoping this week to get that short squeeze we talked about. If you're, if you're um, in this, you know, keep your eyes on Green Mountain Coffee, GMCR, because uh, if that one loses it to the downside, then uh, JVA probably won't follow through. If we get a follow through day in, uh, in GMCR, Anytime this week, uh, I do look for a big short squeeze in JVA. So again, the risk reward here is very good. Um, and then real quick, I only had one call. I'm embarrassed to say uh, volume was very light uh, in chat or in the market. And the SPY, the S&P here, let me pan out so you can kind of see it a little bit better. A very, very slow grind after the market sold off. A very slow grind higher. I mean, almost no shape to it at all. Just a slow grind. And then the rest of the day, straight sideways. 
So not a lot of action, and I think the market was just um, kind of anticipating earnings season starting, which uh, which it did after the bell here with Alcoa. Um, and so not a great this this kind of trading is not a great opportunity for uh, for finding individual setups now. Uh, as I told our members, I expect going forward with earnings season getting underway here, um, we'll find plenty of trades. But having said all that, uh, MPC, not to be confused with the rare earth stock MCP, MPC was in a pretty good sell-off here, and the volume was increasing. And I went ahead and called this as the only call I uh, made today. Again, I'm a little embarrassed, but I expect plenty of calls going forward. Um, somewhere in here around 30.50 was my call. After it had bottomed, it had already gone down, down and back up, and then my worst case stop was right there. My stop was right below that candle. It did come down, looked like it was going to take me out, and it never did, and ended up um, from 30.50, did get to uh, over 31. So it doesn't seem like a great trade, but ended up um, selling the last little bit there, right near the end of the day, um, around 31. So not too bad. Um, going forward, I think we'll have plenty of setups uh, the rest of the week. Uh, that's it. JVA, uh, I still feel really good about the chart and hope to get a short squeeze. As always, guys, anything can happen, so you don't bet the farm on anything. Position size should be such that uh, if it goes to zero, you're still in the game. All right. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you guys soon.